dad would give you one hell of a fight trying to kill their kid. But it's the procedure. It's the government. It's Planned Parenthood. It's no big deal. It's safe and effective. There's no side effects. It's going to be no big deal. It's like getting going to the dentist. Uh, you know, it's not a human. It's a blob of tissue on and on. And now they're like, yeah, kids up to three are a blob of tissue. You know, kill even healthy kids if you want them. The state's going to decide to a bioethics board, not a jury. Not a jury deciding on a murderer. No, no. A, a jury of brainwashed, anti-human hospital bioethicist. And again, some hospitals have a good bioethicist board, but a lot of them have really evil ones. And there's a revolution by these people to take over. God bless you, very touching. And I think people that work with disabled children, again, talk about painful and talk about a struggle, but they're some of the most enlightened, informed, spiritually high people you'll be around who truly serve, serve uh, desperately ill children. But you see, the I've seen children before they die, uh, and you know they their eyes burn like ten times brighter in the weeks or days before they die of cancer and things. Man, you see that soul burning fiery and hot, and it wanted a whole future. And as you think about those little kids they're killing before they're even born, what about all the kids they're killing with the vaccines? It's claiming they're trying to killing with the GMO, all the pain. They're never going to get to go to school. They're never going to have a girlfriend or a boyfriend. They're never going to get to have that joy of getting married and having kids and being honorable. They're just dead. They're soft killed by a bunch of globalists that enjoy hurting people. And that's why we got to fight the new world order. We got to dig deep in our souls and, and throw every weapon we've got against them in the info war. And I'm telling you, when it comes down to the final equation and we beat these people with God's help, we've got to be very judicious about it. We've got to really make sure there's due process. But we've got to route these people out and bring them to justice. And it's not a job, I'll probably never live to see it, but it's not a job that I think fondly of. It'd be like if I was, you know, stepping on cockroaches all day long. I mean, it's, it's, I don't enjoy that. But I see one in the house, I step on it. Uh, and uh, these people are going to have to be given trials and they're going to have to be stepped on. And it needs to be an example to other evil people. Because they've been killing us far too long. Uh, Peachy in New Jersey. And I'm sorry, that's the last caller. I don't have time to get to the others. I apologize. Call me back tomorrow. Uh, go ahead, Peachy. How you doing, Alex? Pretty good. All right, I just wanted to uh, touch on something. You and uh, Adam Kokesh, uh, I got a cell phone, a smartphone, and you guys really woke me up. I always known something was wrong in life, but until I started seeing about, like, the fluoridation of water and, like, what you're talking about, the abortions, it really woke me up. I have three beautiful children. I got a beautiful wife, and I, I, it's not a regret. Times are tough. But uh, what I wanted to tell you about was, uh, you know, because of you guys, your inspiration, I, I decided to get my uh, gun license. And uh, as I was going to do this at the police station, I have to see the firearms officer. And the officer, right away, they make you feel like a criminal. I'm a law-abiding citizen. And, uh, you know, right away they want to know exactly where you live, you know, before you even get the application. So I just wanted to, to, we, to let you know we really thank you because uh, we have to stand strong against these people. The establishment is making us feel like we're criminals, like you've been saying, wanting us to, you know, with the children. Get rid of them. I mean, no, the government is run by evil people. I mean, let's just admit it. You're not. We're not going to fix it. We can do rear guard actions with Rand Paul and Ted Cruz and people, but you're not going to just paper over it in the regular political process. It's going to take a cultural shunning and revulsion for the system, and a pulling out of support of everything you can. And again, it was uh, the head cop of uh, over the whole four county area that converged in, in the in the in the city of. Um, North of London, it's a big city. The point is, is the head cop came to dinner and he said, I listen to your show. And he goes, and I disrespect the fact that you're at an establishment hotel owned by such and such, such and such. And he goes, I'm not trying to make you feel guilty. I'm just saying, you really want to change this. What are you doing at this uh, thing owned by a big, you know, evil globalist company? And he listed who it was owned by. And I went and looked it up. He was right. And I said, you're right. I just didn't really think about it. We were just, I didn't micromanage the folks. He goes, if you want to be free and do what you're talking about and have local systems and a community, you better start acting like it. You better start making decisions and being disciplined. And look, none of us are perfect, but I needed that rebuking. And I'm still not perfect. You know, I mean, we just got to make a break with the system. We got to make a break with the system. We got to break with these people. We got to break with them. We got to break with them.
We gotta make a break with them and let them know it. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population.